Welcome to this video on mapping the title block in AutoCAD Electrical. In this video, I'll walk you through the step-by-step -step process of mapping the title block so you can personalize your AutoCAD Electrical drawings with your own border and title strip. No more using the standard border and title strip provided by AutoCAD Electrical. Let's get started. In preparation for this video on mapping the title block, I did a few things. First of all, I created a new project and I just called it Title Block. And if I right click on the Title Block project here, you'll see that I also have um, my descriptions set up here. So I already created a WDL file showing you how to get the, the information here on the descriptions rather than just line one, line two, line three. If you need information on that, you can see in the comments section, I will put a link to the video on creating the WDL file. The other thing that I've done is I have gone ahead and created a border and title strip and I've also placed the text in here that will go in that title strip as attributes. Now these look like regular text, but if I double click on any one of those, you'll see that it's actually an attribute definition and I've got some information about it there so you can see what's going on. A couple things that I want to do is I want to take out that default information that some of these have in there. So I'm just going to highlight that and get rid of it here <clears throat> so that it makes it a little bit more generic. <clears throat> and there we go. So we're good on those. So now after you have your border title strip drawn, uh, by the way, I went ahead and I blocked my border and title strip just to make it a little bit more secure. And I will be making a block out of all of these attributes here in just a little bit well, as well. But what I want to do is I want to go ahead and map the title block. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna create one more attribute using a tool here in AutoCAD Electrical that will add an attribute to the drawing that allows it to tell the computer or the program where all of the information is in the title block. So to do this, what we want to do is make sure that you're on the project tab up here in AutoCAD Electrical. And then I'm going to go over here to this button that says title block setup. When I click on this, you'll see that there's basically two ways. Method one is to create a mapping file with a WDL uh, extension and the other way is to include an attribute and this is the method that I like to use it's rather intuitive you get to see and click on the screen it's not any coding that you have to do so I'm just gonna click on that button right there and I will choose OK now when I do that it brings up this title block setup and it's saying hey you're creating this WD underscore TB attribute it's gonna be inserted onto the drawing itself and it went ahead and it looked at all of the attributes that I've already defined in here and it populated them here. So company info, for example, um, I can say that it's that one right there, company information, and then address. I can just go through and I can pick any of these um, that I need to have, city and state. Uh, the date is the X's there. DAI information in case that's something that you need to include drawn by would be your name <clears throat> uh, let's see right here your name checked by would be in this case I just put instructor scale is my scale and revision <clears throat> and then finally the last one here is sheet now you'll notice that there are a couple that I did not use if I just drop this one down real quick you'll see that I didn't use drawing title company information okay actually uh, I did use I didn't use drawing title and I didn't use one of the other ones um, in this case it was probably uh, I don't know drawing title I'm just gonna say that that's the one that I didn't use <clears throat> so what I want to do here is I still want the computer to automatically look for that drawing title and put it on here so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to switch over now to the drawing values you see, you have values that are assigned to your project, but then you also have values that are assigned to the drawing itself. So I'm going to switch over here to the drawing values button. And now you'll see that there's a drawing, you know, percent D value and file name and all those kinds of things. 
but what I'm looking for is the drawing description. Okay, so I'll say drawing description is going to be the drawing title itself. And you can see that you can put up to three different drawing descriptions for each of these. So I'm just going to leave that one and I'll say OK. And then it, you'll see that it puts in here that WD title block um, attribute. Now, the final step after you have that attribute in place is to block this and then save it as a template file. So I'm going to use the block command. And I'm going to give it a name. So I'll say this is my AutoCAD Electrical Custom Border uh, 2024, just so that I know that it's the one that I'm working with right now. I'm going to leave my insertion point as 00. zero and I'm going to select all of the objects. So I'll just make a window around everything, enter. And then finally, I want to convert this to a block. I'll say OK. And you'll see what happens is all of those attributes have now disappeared. Um, they've been taken away from the drawing. They're still in there as a block, but they're, they've been taken away so that they're not showing up. Now the second, the second part of this is to go ahead and create that drawing template. So I'll say let's save as, and when I change this to my template setting down here, I want to save it to drawing template, it's going to automatically try to put this template with the rest of my templates, which sounds fine. So I'm going to say, okay, th again, this is my 2024, excuse me, AE custom template 2024. <clears throat> and I'll say save that and I can add description here whatever it happens to be say okay doesn't really matter so now I've got you know this this again this is just an empty drawing um, if I want to create a new one now that's a part of this project and has all of those descriptions automatically embedded into the title block you're going to use this new drawing button this one right here Remember, this button right here creates the new drawing and automatically adds it to this active project. So I'm going to click that button right there, and I'm going to browse to that AutoCAD electrical uh, template that I just created. It'll be down here, AE Custom Template 2024. Say so open that one, and I'll give it a name. <clears throat> let's see, this is, uh, this is just a, a sample drawing. Okay. And then uh, description one, uh, that we'll say that this is my panel drawing uh, for AE2024. Doesn't really matter. This is going to be the one that gets put in the title block place. Okay, so I can say OK, and you'll see what happens is it creates that new drawing, and it puts that title in there. Now it didn't fill in the rest of those. If I come in here and I choose descriptions, it didn't fill in the rest of those because I haven't added them here. Okay, so now if I want to add all of that in, I can you know just say okay this is the X Y Z Corporation Corporation, um, and I can give it an address you know like one two three Elm road, whatever it happens to be, um, you know, today's date, DI, you know, my scale, I can put my name in here for drawn by and checked by whatever it happens to be, choose OK. Now to get those descriptions in here, you go back up here to title block update and you say update and you can pick one by one or you can just say I want to select all I want to update descriptions whatever it happens to be I'm going to say okay for the active drawing and you'll see that it fills those in already if I had had them filled in in that title block before or in that project before I started it would have automatically populated the entire entire title block so it's a very simple process to go ahead and create that new title block to map it and then use it and then it's going to save you a lot of time and you're not going to have to use that sample AutoCAD electrical border anymore.